ready. Energy independence starts here. Morning guys and welcome back to My Lonely Mountain. Today we're going to go over our Ready official power supply and solar array. We have the EV55 unit and then we have their 200 watt solar panels. We're going to do an unboxing. We're going to take a look at everything we got here and then this video is going to put it through its paces. So stick around, check it out. Thanks. Now the Bluetti power supply and solar array are very intuitive. Um, none of the cords can accidentally be plugged into another cord. Um, so that's pretty easy when you're out in the field and you're fumbling around trying to get some things plugged in. I really like the care that they took with the solar panels. Um, you carry it like a small um, laptop case and it's backed with a fabric that's soft and protective and waterproof. Um, I believe this might be an upgrade from the earlier Bluetti solar panel models um, and I, I like it a lot. Now kicking out the legs and getting it to stand up um, takes some getting used to, but what I found um, after actually reading the directions is that the legs are adjustable and they can kick out to different angles depending on your sun. So um, that's something you'll need to look at. Uh, there's different buttons on the legs and depending on where you set those buttons is where the panel will tilt to. Now putting the solar array back together is a breeze. It essentially folds back in on itself accordion style. It has a couple um, nice little um, elastic latches that hold it shut and then you're ready to grab it by the handle and go again. I do specifically like the built-in carry bag and I like that it was given a little extra room so you can kind of dump all the cords that this thing came with into this bag if you want. It also has some of the specs written inside which are um, cool to take a look at if you're interested. The zippers close easy, they're easy to find and um, easy to grab onto. Okay guys, now with the Bluetti power supply back home, I want to try it on a bunch of different things. I want to really put it through its paces. What's one thing that might be really cool to do if you're camping or glamping? Watch a movie on DVD or Blu-ray. How long can this thing power a little colored TV and a Blu-ray? Let's find out.
It was back in the late spring of 1968 that a man by the name of Dick Prenicky left civilization behind to carve out a new life in the remote Alaskan wilderness. During his first year alone, Dick would cut trees and build a log cabin and make what was needed from materials available. He would document his adventure through written journals and on film. Thousands have had such dreams, but Dick Prenicky lived them. Now, with more journal entries and never-before-seen footage, we revisit Dick's Alaskan paradise. Join us now for part two, the continuing story of Alone in the Wilderness. Okay guys, so I really wanted to get outside while we still had some good weather this season and put this solar array for our Blue Eddy power supply through its paces. So what we're doing now is we're charging the Blue Eddy from a completely dead battery all the way down and we're seeing how long it takes. Of course, you can read that in the spec book, you can see what they have to say online, but we wanted to try it here in the field to see what we could come up with. So we're set up here, we're plugged in, we're charging, got the sun. We'll see what happens. Have you guys ever thought about getting yourself one of these little battery packs? I know in the old days you kind of had to bring them home from camping and just plug them into the wall in your garage and get them charged for the next time. This here, game changer. So uh, think about losing power at home or maybe while camping or maybe even if your RV breaks down. You have your power. You're harnessing the sun with this, with this little solar array case. It's absolutely astonishing what it can do. And with over 2,000 recharges on this little unit, this is gonna give you several years of great juice to enjoy on the go. What if you were a farmer and you were working on your fence way out in the back 40, and you needed to run a little cordless saw? You can charge the batteries off the tailgate of your truck, lay the solar array in the flat area, and you're going all day long. It's pretty interesting how this thing works, and I'm actually excited to review it. I want to thank Blue Eddy for sending it my way. This is the EB55, and this is the 200 array. Both of them in conjunction are really easy to carry and really easy to store. So check it out. Come with me. Let's review this thing. Okay, now I'm testing multiple tools that I use every day, both up at the mountain and at my regular house. Uh, some of my favorites are my drill battery chargers, and I got a detail sander here. Um, and wouldn't you know it, I had to do it, and I know you guys are already laughing. You're like, what were you thinking? My old school, down and dirty, worm drive skill saw. No dice. This little Blue Eddy cannot hack that saw, and that's fine. I've got a great DeWalt cordless. I have another video about that saw. I love that saw to death. I almost never pull this one out anymore unless I'm doing something big. So we get it. The little Blue Eddy power supply is not set up to run a giant 15 amp worm drive saw. But I bet Blue Eddy does have a product that can. I've seen some of their bigger models handle quite a bit of load. So like I said, we're charging batteries. We're uh, using a detail sander. Earlier I had a little radio plugged in, and we're charging with the solar array at the same time. And so if you look at the on-screen data on the power supply, we're not even barely losing any juice because we're making it as we're working. So something to think about when you're out in the field, maybe just keep the solar array set up if it's sunny. That's what I think. I think this thing's great for camping. I think it's great for a small dry cabin. I also think it's great for road trips. It's small, it's easy to use, it can do some really great work with charging some light tools. Um, it can run a TV, Blu-ray player, charge phones, plenty of ports, three-prong, two-prong, 
and USB. They've thought of everything on this unit. And I have to say, I'm a believer. So as you can see, the Blue Eddy EB55 power station is an awesome little unit. Right now it's charging my cell phone. This is the solar array that comes with it. It's a 200 watt. It's kind of a tote bag and the solar panels in one. When it folds up, the solar panels are protected by this soft fabric inside. It also has a storage bag for all the cords that fit both the power unit and the panels. It has kick out legs so that it can stand on its own once you open all four panels. And then right here we have the power supply that will plug the Blue Eddy into the wall of your house maybe before you go out, before you go camping, or if you find a camping spot that has power. This unit is absolutely incredible. It's very light to pick up and carry, very easy to use, very user friendly, and I can't recommend it more. Um, I wanna thank Blue Eddy for sponsoring this video. And I want to thank you guys for watching My Lonely Mountain. Have a great one.